ooze. So my throat hurts and it hurts to talk and then it's gonna be low energy, but I'm gonna try my best. Let's begin today's reaction. There's dad, guys. <laughs> yeah, who's he talking to? Is he talking to a fucking flower right now? A schizo motherfucker. Hair got longer. Today's episode should be the introduction of the MILF character, right? That got hinted at last episode ending. And in the opening, there's also like a big girl. I'm like, ooh, who is that girl? Yo, you talking to a fucking rock right now. I'm sorry. Rest in peace, Raven. This is the executive council that's in her domain, yeah. Baldi. That's her girlfriend's dad. It's like 12 year old kid standing toe to toe with a bunch of adults. But it's actually crazy how this show has been taking its like good time to like properly develop this character Aris to like his ascension to like I guess position lord now. It actually is one of the better animes. Like I'm honestly quite surprised about how well this anime has like kind of been taking its time fully preparing everything behind the scenes. It doesn't even feel like they're like yapping constantly or like stalling either. Every episode has an intent and they're slowly fleshing out the world and we're at this stage and it feels like there's gonna be more payoff because of this because I'm fully immersed and they've done everything properly to get the people watching this actually care about the story instead of him being like, all right, and now he got this power. All right, now he's doing this. The two princes. That's right, the second prince pretty much like took it over, right? The surrounding districts, we need to sway their favor. Why? I love this part. Anytime like we don't understand what's going on, there'll be a character that'll say something like, in other words, and then just summarizes the important things for us. We need Perena for this, guys. Let's go, take it over. We're going in. Oh shit, dude. Damn, bro. Even like this guy, our girlfriend, like Leisha's dad, right? Like I didn't think he was like a serious guy. Recently, it's it's the shading in his face. It's the darkening lines around his eyes. He just looks a lot more epic and serious now. Even this dude, whenever you have shading under the eyes, it just makes you look a lot more serious. And then you have moments like this when you don't even, don't even see the eyes and you're like, uh oh. oh. We can do something? And skipped explanation. Okay, flashback. What's going on? The kid is right. Even though I don't know what the fuck is going on, he's probably right though. Shadow. Ooh. Shadow. And the new girl is gonna be part of Shadow? That respect, bro. They're just letting this kid actually do that. Charlotte's always fucking eating. I mean, you know, her metabolism is very high. Charlotte also does not give a fuck about the politics. Oh, it's the kids that we fucking abandoned. See, this is... See? They were like... No, no, no. Charlotte was actually older. I was gonna say, like, this is the difference of, like, being taken into a lord's domain and having proper nourishment versus the kids that stayed back and are still impoverished. But they were always, like, smaller than Charlotte, I think, yeah. Look how big you got, bro. <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> this is what happens when you get proper nutrition. Aww. 
皆さん今日はよろしくお願いします僕らがやってきたできる彼女たちにシャーロットさんが面倒を見ていた子供たちのお世話をしてもらっている子供を見かけたらできる限り連れてきて保護してもらっているコロナのかなお前ら<laughs> That makes it sound like ours is like, God damn, you know, paying for these kids is fucking expensive. So, like, what did he say? What did he say? Dude, those kids are almost old enough to leave the nest themselves. So, ours is like, oh, fucking finally, yo, we can't, you know, hold this orphanage down forever. Who the fuck is paying for all this fucking shit? <laughs> That sounds kind of nice. Vegetable maker. She's been sending it back home? Aww. でもいいんじゃないかと思ってたが、ここにいて正解だったみたいだな。いい場所です。でも大きい町にいた方がいろんな可能性が見つかると思う。Guess who the rich kid is? 自分が好きなように。Well, they're all orphans, actually. What am I talking about? Bisha, hello. Bisha's butler is not good with kids, huh? Mentally prepared to face your girlfriend. Orphanage Riz. Oh, <laughs> dirty ass kid touching this pretty ass dress. Now, if there was any other noble, they'd be like, "Ugh, poor, disgusting." But Lisha's different, right? She'll probably like play in the dirt with her. See, she'll go play in the mud. That's why Lisha is peak, man. They'd be like, execute this child for touching me with this fucking dirty poor hands. Mm, she might be good to negotiate with Shadow. Me too. Reach is very competent. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Alright. What do you mean arrange a room? It's gonna be the same room. I thought you're married. <laughs> so Charlotte? Join me in. Does Charlotte see ours like that? I guess she feels kind of jealous sometimes. <laughs> Lucky kid. Okay, maybe it's not that good. Look at him. He just like. Charlotte just. I don't know, maybe this isn't actually that fun of a time, man. It looks like he's just dying suffocating. Yo, it's a cheeky ass smile. <laughs> Poor kid. Oh, shadow. I'm kidding, but are we gonna actually hit the orphans again? I'd be, I'd, it'd be interesting if we actually do. Bye bye. <laughs> she looks very proud. Okay, a little bit of mercenary lore going on in this world. Assassination. Mm. What? It's gotta be. It's
gotta be that girl in the opening that we keep seeing, man. Nice. What's there to be scared about? Young and brilliant leader. Is Lisha kind of hyping up ours now too? Maybe it's not about the money. So if they're not interested in our like cause, strong and flexible. Oh, hello. <laughs> we got some juice available. Look at Adisha and Charlotte, bro. They look fucking mad. Adisha's face is so passive aggressive. No juice? Damn. Is that a secret code? It is, right? I mean, he said shadow. That was very obvious. <laughs> I guess it is kind of cool. Not bald. Light him up, meteor. I'm hoping that the leader is a MILF, man. That's a crazy hairline. That, that guy's actually bald. Bald! I can't even yell bald anymore, man. My throat. But that, that's, that's another fucking crazy hairline. Hmm? Is that her? Is that her? She looks different because of the outfit and the hair. But Ars's appraisal right now is about to pop off, right? He's just realizing. It's her, right? It's her in the disguise. So the members of Shadow are all the bar tavern people in disguises? So, What do you see? What's the stats? Usually they immediately show us the stats and stuff. But uh, not on this time. Risha knows what something's off, yeah. Ritz? Okay, yeah. We know Ritz is OP. What? <laughs> Every time I keep asking for a MILF, we get baited in this show. The first time I ask MILF, MILF? That's a 14-year-old girl. I'm like, oh, no. You tell me this is a guy? <laughs> we got a fucking... We got a fanboy going on here? Alright, I'll take a fanboy. Oh. I sort of got I saw titties in the opening, man. But can Ritz fight this guy? Yeah, how did he show? Rishia must have clutched. Rishia must have clutched for us. Is that a toilet? Is that a whole ass toilet on the right side? <laughs> I think that is a toilet. This is kind of funny. We're just talking here. There's a toilet right there. <laughs> Dancho san? <laughs> yeah, she is the boss. Sorry, he is the boss. Or we could together work together and make a lot of money together. Beats is ready to kill, man. <laughs> Ars is just taking, like, the role of, like, an isekai main character where he knows nothing going on, but everyone around him is just doing everything for him. And he, he, this is the running gag now. Doesn't that happen in a lot of different other isekais where it's like, oh, oh yeah, the leader's like, oh, oh yeah, I definitely knew that was gonna happen, and all his underlings are like, oh, waga, fucking waga aruji, you know? Ten sewer right now, that's pretty much it, too, yeah. Alicia. Show me them crazy eyes. <gasps> okay, okay, Alicia. <laughs> she is very scary. Fucking Isaka character. Appraiser. Him. And then... Say something. Mazak is his name. Huh? 
Old name, past name. Okay, okay, fam. Threatening him with the writs is pretty much all that was needed to like you know get fam to work with us. Intuition. And this kid's scary. This kid's actually the scariest. All right, we won fam's trust. Honestly, without Risha, this none of this is possible, man. She's actually way too useful. I don't know how much that is, but I guess that's a lot of money. Alright, five days for them to do spying, and then we come back. And that is today's episode. This is the second time that I was calling MILF, 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 and it's not a MILF, man. First time was a 14-year-old kid, now it's this 22-year-old man. What am I fucking doing, bro? What am I doing? That's this 0 for 2 right now, but it is what it is. At least fam looks pretty nice, and we have a new group called Shadow. A mercenary group that deals in, like, covert espionage, and I'm sure that's gonna be... Like, you know how back in the day, like, the Shogun would have, like, a elite group of, like, ninjas or, like, Kunoichis to kind of, like, do their shadow biddings, right? So, I would imagine that, like, um, it's gonna be the same thing for us where it's, like, we rule, but then underneath the shadows, the actual shadow does their dirty work kind of thing. That's how I see the story. So, in five days, we'll return. Fam is gonna do the research. We'll take over that small land. And with that, we can then have the resource to... Support the second prince to take over back the kingdom. Sorry, support the first prince to take back the kingdom that the second prince has stolen. I think that's the plot and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't hear this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.